Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm on the uh, Bridge.net team. Uh, hang on. There we go. Uh, Bridge is a C Sharp to JavaScript compiler. So we take in C Sharp, you write in Visual Studio, we convert it, compile it into JavaScript. Fully open source, Apache 2 license. We're on GitHub taking pull requests. Um, we're taking in the C Sharp, so you get first class objects in C Sharp, and we're doing the conversion into JavaScript, basically handwritten code. Uh, lots of, uh, well, most of the language is supported uh, classes, generics, lists, uh, Lambda expressions, async, and await is also supported. Um, full DOM support, console support, uh, Canvas, fully supported uh, jQuery API and Bootstrap at the moment. We just launched exactly three weeks ago. Uh, on Friday, three days ago, four days ago, we uh, were picked up on JavaScript Weekly, uh, generate a lot of traffic, and Scott uh, tweeted about us on Wednesday. It generated a lot of traffic for us. <laughs> Crashed the server twice. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do uh, a quick demo. Uh, this is just file new project. Very, it takes seconds to install. Um, it should look very familiar, console, uh, like a console app. So you have your static main. Here we're doing a window.alert. We just compile the code and bridge gen uh, creates this uh, in the output folder. This is our demo file. Uh, let me bump this up. Okay, so we got our demo file. Here's uh, our window.alert. Okay, we also add in here a nice little just simple HTML file that if you click on here, uh, right click, you can view it in browser. So this is our code, uh, C sharp code, converted into JavaScript running in a browser. Um, let's get rid of that. Okay, I'm going to whip through a demo really quick. Okay. Okay, so we want to uh, refactor this, sorry, into a method. We're going to create a log method. We're going to pass in here, hello world. Okay, sorry. And string message. Okay. We recompile, refresh the browser, and our alert message is shown. Okay, I'm going to expand on this a little bit. Document. Done. We're going to get a reference to the body. Uh, we're going to create a button. Button element. This is uh, just uh, setting the name of the button. And we're going to do body.append. So we're going to add the button to the page. Okay, we recompile. Okay, we've got our button, but it does nothing. I'm going to actually grab a chunk of code here just to make sure it works. Okay, so we're adding the uh, button to the body. Uh, I've changed this up. I've added a, a little simple div to the body as well. And we've changed this. Uh, so we're just going to log a message to the screen. So I'm using jQuery here to just uh, grab uh, the div. Let me recompile that and click the button. So we've got our hello world just logging to the screen. Okay. Um, I want to change this. We're going to do something called log data. Okay. We're not changing any of the other logic on the page. We're just going to add in a couple of functions in here. Okay, we take a count, we increment the count. This is our log data. Uh, we're going to pass it into this long pr running process. So this is a very typical problem with JavaScript that it locks the uh, UI, it locks the thread. We don't want that. It's bad, especially on mobile. So we're generating, we're going to do this randomly. We're generating a random delay. Um, we're just using this while loop and we send back the me oh, what was that? Okay, I forgot. Yeah, okay. So 
sorry. Okay, it's locking the thread. You saw that? <laughs> um, okay, we've converted everything to a async here. So we got async, await. All we've done is added async and await. I'm recompiling. Okay, and now I multi-fire this. So this is JavaScript, pure JavaScript, not locking the thread, running asynchronously, no special plugins or anything. And we just launched 122 today, QUnit, unit testing framework is coming out maybe tomorrow, WebGL, Link, Node, Angular, Cordova, lots of stuff supported, bridge.net. Thank you. Awesome.